Hello there, how are you? I have you to say I do. I do, I do. do. Oh, that was a good one. Ha <laughs> ha Welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> Did you hurt your hand? Yeah. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for juicy content. Thank you for the Patreon. Follow us on the like button. Today we have another food video, and this is yeah. how Indian Master Chef makes dosa, idlis, and more. Oh my, dosa, uh, and idli, and more. Oh my, bon dosa, and idli. Bon appetito. Oh yeah. Um, you know we like channels that start with the word bone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's just get into this. I know, it's technically bon. Bon appétit. No, it's bon appétit. Your mom had an appétit for some bon. Yeah, Joe Apatow's nipple is the bon appétit. I'm the executive chef and partner at Sema in New York City. Oh, look at that. Today, we're going to turn all these ingredients into five different types of rice and dental paste. Southern and make us all very hungry in the process. India has one of the oldest culture and culinary tradition in the world. Some of the dishes that we are going to be making today has been made for hundreds and hundreds of years. The first thing we're going to do is make the bear bar gun. Ooh, dosa. So I made that. This is rice, that's lentils. Probably not as so good as he does. It's like a thin crepe. Gunpowder you know, dosa? Rice and lentil batter. At Semo, we're trying to cook the food that most of the Western countries have not seen so far. Almost it was almost interstellar for a second. Chicken tikka masala it did. Bread. That's why I so turned my head. The, that the music today are Southern Indian comfort food. When someone comes to a restaurant, they should feel like, oh, this is exactly how I grew up eating it. These are the dishes that my mom and grandma used they to They just sped it up because you have to let that soak for like memories. 12 hours. <laughs> so I'm going to add the rice first because it's going to take a little longer to get bread. You can find dosas in every single household and even in, in streets in India too. We grow a lot of rices in some Indians. So that's why most of our dishes consist of rice and lentils. When it's half a ton, then I'll add the lentils. You make sure you don't blend them too much. You just make sure that it has a little bit of grainy texture. As a kid, I always helping my mom in the kitchen. So the, I think if I was in the eighth grade or something, when I was making my first dosas, I ruined it so bad. Like, <laughs> it took me a while to, <laughs> to practice it. That's not a surprise. I would have made at least like, 50,000 of those cells, at least. You have to let it be in the room temperature for minimum six hours. Mm -hmm. Once it's fermented, then those are ready to make. If you make it too liquid, it's very hard to make those cells. So you have to be very careful with the consistency. Kind of like a pancake kind of consistency. The batter is ready. Now it's the time to make those cells. So that why it's like iron girdle. When you sprinkle the water, you can see the sizzling. So that means it has a right down temperature. Just pour a little batter, just spread them as thin as possible. That's a stainless steel cup. It's called Katori. That's a cup that I use to spread the dosa batter on the griddle. It's, it's not that. Some it's not as easy as he's making it look. Yeah. If you make it too thick, it's like a pancake. Sprinkle some gunpowder. So gunpowder is. Actually, and yes, the, um, the kind you have in the cabinet in the like Texas the, closets. Which is a ground lentils and chilies, and add the <laughs> oh. in the middle. Basically, it's oh. potatoes, which has like it is seeds and mm. uh, ginger. That's cheese, breakfast can't lentils, doesn't get any better than that. You just mix all the spices and potatoes together, then you get a very, very aromatic, fragrant oh. uh, spice potatoes. My and word! You can just fold them any preferable shape that you want. It, it looks like, like you've made fifty thousand of these. So yeah, it, it stays hot. Wow, those are enjoyable when it's hot and crispy. Yep. Let's start plating it. First dose we had in the video was all limp. You can eat them with any chutneys. At Sema, we actually serve the gunpowder dosa with sambar and tomatoes and coconut chutneys. Now we're done with dosas. It's a time to make uttapam now. Uttapam is a thick pancake, which is made out of fermented rice and lentil batter. It is the same brand as dosa, actually. It's just the thickness of the dosa and uttapam is different. So I'm just going to take like three quarter of the batter I'm trying not to spread it as thin as like how I did for dosas, so it has sort of like a pancake kind of thickness. So, so traditionally, we make with with onions and tomatoes and chilies and cilantro. You can use any types of vegetables that you like, or also some gunpowders. Actually, I took this gunpowder recipe from my sister. Every household makes a different variation. So it's, it's the same uh, ingredients, but the proportions and the ratios are a little different. 
basically, I don't want to see any banner. I just want to like fill up the Uttapam with all the vegetables. Look how full that is. Sema, we try to keep the Uttapam a little bit like seasonally. And we try to see oh, the vegetables. Oh my pieces. goodness, that looks good. Looks like a pizza. I think we made these on. It looks like a Mexican pizza. I think we made these on my channel. Not this well. I mean, that looks like a pancake, but the other side of it reminded me yeah, of a Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. <laughs> You can also make the uttapam without vegetables, which, which has the same texture as uttapam, and then they call it kal dosa. You just have to wait at least like a couple of minutes to make sure you get the golden color. It comes with experience. Oh. If you leave it too long, it's gonna get burnt. So you have to make sure in the right time. Or if you flip it too early, also the vegetable won't stick to uttapam. So you have to make sure you take the right time. Looks incredible. Whew. Wow. I also sell the uttapam with sambar and tomato coconut chutneys. My word. <laughs> that looks incredible. Glorious. Let's make the idli next. I made it late. Steamed rice cake. We would need rice and lentils to make the batter. But to make the idli, we need a different types of rice, which is idli rice. It's a very tiny, short grain rice. Interesting. Add so it's its own particular it's rice. Exact, pretty much procedure as those are bad. Yeah, let so it soak for a billion lentils, hours. Lentils and fenugreek seeds, minimum six hours. Yep. Idli is typically a breakfast dish, but I would eat like three times a day. <laughs> like it's <laughs> idli is are low. Sure, why not? Really soft. To make it soft, you. Have I know to some have guys who are like that. Ratio of the rice and lentils. Fenugreek seeds gives nice flavor to the batter. Mm. Once the rice and lentils been soaked, and then we're gonna rinse them off, then we're just gonna blend it. We're gonna add a little water, blend it. Once lentils is blended halfway through, then you add rice. Now I'm gonna blend the rice and dal. Dal is a name for lentils. You can add the fenugreek seeds when you add the lentils. Some people say that adding salt before the fermentation will slow down the fermentation. I feel like yes, salt may add a little different, but the very important thing is room temperature play major role in the fermentation. <coughs> now the batter is blended. I'm going to set it aside to ferment. <laughs> so I just want to make sure the idli doesn't get stick in the pan. So I use the muslin cloth. I sprinkle a little bit of water, then add the batter to the. Did pan. you do that? I don't think so. People have been making idlis for years. We don't know exactly. But I have one of these little making it, but I can see makers sure the, it's been like, the little like one of the molds. oldest oldest food on the planet. Every household will have the idli steamer, paniyaram chatti, and dosa garu. Every household will have it. <laughs> the idli batter may rise when it's cooked. So you just add like right amount of batter to just fill up the hole. When you add too much, it's going to change the shape. Unless I'm wrong, most of these are South Indian dishes. We are steaming the idli, so we don't really need too much water. Just enough it's a to get the common steam. as a breakfast thing. Do you make the mix the night before, or does that mean it's fermenting too yeah, long? Cook about yeah. like 10 minutes. You can do it the night before. So once we it's did. cooked, yeah. turn the flame off. Just let it rest for like a few more minutes. So it will cook all the way through. We... Filmed and whistle the once start the steam is ready. That Let makes it an indication overnight. that you are right. idli steamed. Came back in the morning. So I just want to make sure the idli is cooked all the way through. So I just want to test it before I remove from the steamer. So if anything stuck to the skewer, I know it's not cooked enough. Then we have to cook it again. The skewer is clean, so I know it's cooked. Before you demold it, you're going to sprinkle some water to make sure the idli is not sticking to the pan. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Oh, those look perfect. We used to have a huge idli steamer where you could make like at least 120 idlis at the same time. Traditionally, they sell them with sambar and tomatoes and coconut. I can cheese. feel and, uh, it. You, can you had one? With yeah. Any types yeah. Of yeah. Where'd you have it? You can either make oh, no, you had it in South India. South India. India. Yeah. yeah. And the, but we went first to Delhi. That's right. Any yeah. Types of I remember now. <laughs> Next, so, we'll make paniyaram. So paniyaram is a very popular South Indian snack, or, or like it can be a breakfast item, which is made out of either idli batter or dosa batter. Paniyaram is actually one of my favorite snack. To make the paniyaram batter, I took some idli batter, 
and I added some chopped onions, chopped cream chilies, chopped curry leaves, some grated coconut and some mustard seeds and asafoetida. Asafoetida is one of the spices that you can find a lot in Indian cooking. And some chopped ginger, literally stalaka. What is that? Tempering, which is mustard seeds and red chilies and oh, curry wow. You just mix all the ingredients together with the idli batter. Mix, mix, mix. I also like to add a little cilantro. To make the paniara, you guys don't call it cilantro. Chati, which is like a cast iron pan. The pan has to be hot enough to get the golden color. If it is too hot, it will burn. If it is too low, you won't get the golden color. It is definitely popular in Southern India. You can find in all like Southern Indian homes, in the restaurants, or in the street food. Like you can find them everywhere. Every time my mom used to make it, she always woke us up in the morning when she started cooking it because she wants to make sure we sit right next to the stove when paneer comes out of the pan. She wants to make sure we eat them when it's hot and fresh. Mm. I'm just going to use a skewer to Ooh. flip it so that Ooh. we cooked all the way through. That looks tasty. Every southern Indian house will have the paniyaram pan and also dosa pan. Oh man! It's like a little hush puppy. Paniyaram with spicy coconut chutney. It's a nifty little serving plate there. A little That's how you make the paniyaram. Oh! Wow! Now let's make the idiyapam. Idiyapam is also called string hopper. It's basically a rice noodles. To make oh. the idiyapam, we have to make the idiyapam dough first. The idiyapam dough is made out of rice flour, coconut milk, a little bit of water, and salt. So I know idiyapam, it's, it's like a noodles, I mean, but we eat them with some vegetable stew or meat gravies, or you can even eat them as a sweet and coconut milk also. To make a dough, we have to make sure we mix all the ingredients together and then make the dough as tight as possible. That's Since what she we said. Have to press them into noodles, it has to have that pasta dough texture. This is called idiapam maker or idiapam press. Looks like a so caulking you have to make gun. Sure you spread them equally. Wow. I've not made these, but I've, uh, we've seen them before. Many times, yeah. Looks so but weird. not made, We I don't remember seeing them I don't think like, from scratch. Them either, though. Yeah. I don't think we've ever had them. So I'm using the same idli steamer to steam the idli album as well. Pretty much the same technique that we did for the idlis. Add water to the steamer, then add the pressed noodles in the steamer, then steam it for about like... <laughs> pressed so noodles is a good noodles. name for a band. When I say noodles, so let's not expect like real noodles. So they're not going to like literally fall apart. Like they're going to stick together. Once the steam is coming out, that means the indication is almost ready. That's what she said. Rice flour doesn't have the gluten like your wheat flour. So that's why it has a smooth consistency and smooth texture. You can eat this idea from any vegetable stew wow. or any aromatic gravies. Take a piece out of it and dip it in gravies and eat it. Wow. That's Look, why you make everything looks perfect. And lentil based southern Indian dishes. Ugh. My goodness. I'm so hungry. Yeah. Looked amazing. Um, uh, did it say South Indian on the title? It didn't. But it, I mean, it didn't. But he said it, it several says, times. Oh, I, I, you could let me know about the last two, but I think most of them were South Indian dishes, uh, South Indian breakfast dishes. I, I think so too. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I know idli and and um, dosa mm -hmm. are especially. And how many different shapes does dosa come in? He says you can put it in whatever shape you'd like. Yeah, I he just says it's dealer's choice. Okay. Um, we've seen them in obviously rolled. Those are the those, I love those. Those are just the easiest to handle and get all the bites. And there's a Indian restaurant that I've wanted to do a video. At. I just need to talk to them. It's McDonald's. Not not far from here, and I don't know how they're 
Italy's are. But apparently, when I looked at the menu, they have an insanely different amount of kind of Italy's. It's not like normal, like masala dosas. But then they also have like chocolate dosa and a pizza dosa. <laughs> And I Interesting. Like, I was like, one, I don't think... I, I don't know that I want the flavorings of pizza in a dosa. I know, but that's why it's interesting. To me. It is interesting, <laughs> but just give me potato and I'm a happy man. Yeah. That's all I need. Um, I mean, I, I would eat other ones as well, but boy, is that just... It's a great dessert. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, breakfast. Breakfast. It's breakfast. just with some filter coffee. Uh. <sighs> If any of you guys have had uh, South Indian food in Delhi, man, you know what we're talking about. You do. You know what we're talking about. Absolutely. <laughs> I still find this funny. People were so mad that that was our first video. In India. Well, and I, I understand the disappointment that if you, if we, you know, it would, for me, if you're, if, you know, what it would be comparable to? I think it would be comparable to an, an Italian in Italy. Watching someone eat Italian food for the very first time in New York City and being told it's authentic Italian food. That would bother me if I was... Maybe. Maybe yeah, it is uh, authentic, though. No, it's not. New York Italian food is not authentic Italian. Well, if you go to... It's Olive New York Italian. If you go to Olive Garden, it is. It is a, it's authentic. Olive Garden. <laughs> it's authentic to the extent that, yes, Italians were making the food there and those Italians were from Italy. But, no, it's... It what is, if your grandma makes it? That'd be interesting because my grandma on my mom's side has passed away, and my grandma on my dad's side doesn't make Italian food. Maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, that was uh, it looked great. Was, video, just so hungry, so fun to watch, and everything looked picture perfect. I'm so hungry. Uh, I need to eat food. Just